shone like a dark spot. I believed him. Okay. Holy big boy bite. What the heck? Didn't even make me a full cup of coffee. <laughs> yes. Through the arbor in the garden. been fighting something for like two or three days now. It's like this lingering congestion and sneezing. Apparently pregnancy allergies are a thing. My head feels heavy, my arms feel heavy. Today's vlog is somewhat of a spring refresher, almost like a spring palette cleanser. I am going to be doing my April planning today. I am starting, or I'm halfway through actually, the first week of a new meditation challenge that I'm putting myself through. I have a runny nose that I need to get a napkin for. I just did the meditation of going with the flow of the universe and or catching yourself when you're resisting. And I've been all day just feeling so much resistance to the way I feel. I felt it yesterday too because I'm so inspired and motivated and excited about my new routine for spring and just like sticking with it and it feels so good to get things done that I'm catching myself in resistance a little bit to the way that my body is feeling. It was flow with the universe, not against it. And it was by Charles, I might say his last name wrong, Free, Frile, Frilei. He's a PhD psychologist. It was really great. The visualization he used is like being a raindrop coming out of a cloud and trickling down a mountain and you just go with the flow. Like there's no resistance. You're not trying to move your way back up the mountain or back into the cloud. As soon as he prompted figuring out where the resistance was in the body, I was like, oh, arms, jaw, eyebrows, hands, like I'm just gripping on to like, the things I want to get done and I, I can just relax into them. Like I can still do the things I want to do and just relax into them and let myself feel how I'm feeling, you know, instead of fight how I'm feeling. Personally, I feel like the best place for me to get the most out of a refresher is to refresh my state of mind going into the spring because I feel like everything else in my life will domino and has been domino effect like in a positive direction with renewing my state of mind and checking in with myself and I like to use aura to do that and 
Thank you to Aura for sponsoring today's vlog. I talked to you guys about Aura a couple months back when I first started my meditation challenge going into the new year. It's such a great app to use for guided meditations, but they have a lot more than that too. They do have yoga on there. They have sleep stories on there. They have pep talks on there that you can go to for like coaching. They have PhD coaches on there. They have such a wide variety and so much to choose from, whether you just want a short meditation or a longer meditation. And I'm gonna carry this meditation challenge into April and just set aside, there's even some meditations on there that are only three minutes. Now I can definitely dedicate at least three minutes a day to doing a little bit of meditation. So I'm gonna see how many days in a row I can get that streak going. I'm currently on day three. If you're curious what Aura is, it's an all-in-one app for basically anything to do with your state of mind and with your state of well-being. It's kind of like using a Spotify, but for meditations and for your brain. My personal favorite are the shorter ones. I like to do the four to maybe 15 minute meditations currently because I feel like that's the perfect amount of time for me to block out. And I like the morning meditations or earlier in the day meditations because I do feel like it sets up my mind or primes my mind to go into my day. It refreshes my mind to go into the day ahead. Take this as inspiration to start your own meditation challenge. Let's see if we can meditate every single day for the month of April. That's gonna be my goal. Let me know if you're joining me on that venture. If you use my link, you can get started on Aura for free and check it out, try it out, see if it's something that you enjoy. I find it's been a huge game changer for me and specifically getting back on the horse of meditating again. And the first 500 people to use the Aura link that I am showing you right here, right now, will get the free trial and 25% off should you decide to give Aura a chance and sign up for a subscription. Don't do a whole lot of sponsorships, but when I do, I always make sure it's stuff that I genuinely use. In the description, I'll leave some of my favorite meditations. I've done a couple so far. I actually just got a level up and I've got quite a bit on the go today. I'm gonna stretch and I'm gonna film it and turn it into a follow along yoga flow. And I'm hoping to kick off my Kalen's Flow Corner YouTube channel starting in April. That's another big goal of mine. Uh, and then I'm gonna move into my April planning, which is actually a bonus on my Kalen's Coffee Talk channel, but I'll go over what I've basically planned and refreshing my routine and my goals. Just doing a whole little refresher for spring. That's the vibes today. That's the plan today. If I ask you But I feel so much better, heavily needed. Except I'm roasting now, I'm a million degrees. What I just filmed was a, they're called coffee bonuses. I do them every single month over on my Coffee Talk channel. It's part of the coffee club membership I run. So it's always really weird to like, I don't know, promote or pitch something. But in case you're just curious, like genuinely out of curiosity, if you think this could be up your alley or something you're interested in, is that for the price of a cup of coffee, I host these monthly sessions. So that's what I just recorded where each month, and also each season, we tune into the goals we started at the beginning of the year and just do all of our planning, journaling. I do a card reading. It's just kind of like a fun 
it's normally about like an hour and it's a bonus coffee talk. So you tune in with your journal, your planner, or your cards or whatever you want to bring. I officially feel like I'm semi prepped for the month of April. There was a couple things that like, I just feel like my month of April looks really bare, which is actually very nice considering that I've dedicated all Fridays and Saturdays that are open to my spring cleaning, which is, is a different vlog series that I'm doing this year. So I, don't mind that most of my weekends are open. However, one weekend will be dedicated to Ryan's birthday and my brother's actually now I'm realizing there's only two weekends left. And I do have to do a lot of accounting this month too with tax season coming up. So probably for the best that there's not a whole lot going on this month. If you're curious how I set up my planner. So this is the monthly spread. Circle people's birthdays. I put any like bills on the calendar and appointments on the calendar. Off to the side, this is what I've dedicated my days to. So I kind of have like almost like a theme for the day. So work-wise, I'll go through those on the next page. But Mondays, personally, I it's just a grocery day. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I don't have any kind of theme for Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I can do whatever I want because it's really only a two-hour open, open period that I can do whatever I want anyway. Thursdays I've dedicated to budgeting, like just checking in on my monthly budget and updating my bookkeeping just to keep on top of things because otherwise I let things go for too long and then I have so much to do at one time. Fridays, Easton doesn't have daycare, so Fridays are when I do like a project or we go on an adventure like I wrote there. Um, I also have been moving my gist cleaning to Fridays and getting groceries on Fridays. So yeah, Fridays and Saturdays are like the open days to kind of get things done around the house, so spring cleaning. And then Sundays I host my book club and I do my everything showers on Sundays. Then there's just a couple to do's to, for the month here. And this is what a weekly spread looks like. So these lines I drew myself just to section two parts in the weekly spread. And like I said, each day is dedicated to something. So Mondays are all about filming and creating. So I'll write like film a coffee talk and vlog this and do that. And then Tuesdays are all about editing and uploading. So it'll be like edit a coffee talk, edit a vlog, edit a flow. Wednesdays are another day for filming and creating. You get the gist. Thursdays are editing, uploading, but also admin work. So that's why I do my budgeting, I do my emails, I do any planning for the next week on Thursdays. Fridays are project or adventure. Saturdays are a day off. Sundays are my gist. And then on this side, this is where I put appointments and also uploads. So anything that's a star is an upload and anything that's a dot is like a, an appointment or a bill. So that's what goes on the right side. And then over here, I turn this into my daily routine, which if you're curious and feel like snooping, you can pause and read it. It's, I don't need to go through it, but this is the routine that I'm following currently. Um, and then to do's again, these are generally for the week. They might not have a specific day that they need to be done, but it's just something I need to get done for the whole week. Down here is how I plan my menus. So I'll usually do this on Sunday. It's currently Wednesday, so it's too soon to be doing this just yet. Once I have that written down, I'll know what to pick up on Mondays and Fridays for groceries. And then I use the habit tracker. So I'm doing a meditation challenge right now. I'm getting back into exercise, even if it's just stretching. I'm doing this new thing where I do a load of dishes and a load of laundry every day that's part of my up here you'll see eat and clean up I throw a load on and do some dishes and it's helping me stay on top of things so that come my cleaning day there's not seven loads of laundry to do and I have been doing routine writing time to work on some fun things so those are my habits that I'm tracking and that's how I use my planner in the theme of refreshing your mind for the month as well books are one of my favorite ways to do that to get a new perspective or to just kind of get lost in a story so i've been so caught up in the uh akatar series i'm currently on book three so a court of wings and ruin and i'm gonna be done by the time i'm gonna be done by monday so I'm finally going to take a break. I read back to back the first three books and then for my book club, it's a fiction this month. So I'm reading this book for the month of March. It's In the Weeds by B.K. Borison. It's very much like a very light or it sounds like a very light spring read. 
It's about a grumpy farmer and a social media influencer. And I'm so about this right now. This just sounds so light and so fun. This is, feels like the spring version of a summer beach read. This is like a spring, spring picnic read or like a spring, what else do you do in the springtime? Spring farm read. And then this month, something fun that I'm doing is offering a second book option for the book club. This book I picked myself. So I normally read a fiction and a nonfiction at the same time. And the nonfiction that I want to read for April is The Well-Gardened Mind. Perfect for the mind refresher for April. I'm so into hobbies right now, like so into gardening. Later on tonight, I'm actually very excited. I got a embroidery kit. So just little things like this to get a new get some new energy, you know? This book in particular is written by a psychologist who is also obviously a gardener, and she just goes into kind of like the psychology of gardening and nature itself. It's the restorative power of nature and how working with dirt and gardens and plants, how that actually can benefit our mental health and our general well-being. I started my garden, I think it was two or three vlogs ago now. This is so exactly the type of energy I wanna be tuning my mind into for April. So my workday is just ending. It's 4.08. Ryan should be home any minute with Easton. So I'm just closing down all of my computers now. I'm going to head upstairs. I was hoping I might get a chance to do a quick clean of our bedroom because it is a mess. And then I'm going to make dinner. And then once Easton's in bed, I'm going to crack out my new embroidery kit and start a new hobby for the new season or for the new month, I guess I should say. Because it's been spring. Are you coming? No, you look pretty cozy, eh? No. And they are just pulling in right now, so I definitely will not have time to go clean. But we need to take some weight off our shoulders. The fight isn't over. Can you let me be be tonight? I will need some time alone. Not forever, but when we're together It feels like my spark's been left in the dark sometimes Cause when I'm with you, it's just like an airway Better than a band -aid. This could be love, not sure, but I'm probably right When you're around, I can say what I want